You can't believe a man and a woman can be friends, can you? You think something was going on with Dad and Jenny when they went off to New York and lived together for all that time? You've heard the story. Dad was different. Oh. So he can be friends with a woman and I can't. Uh, uh Fine. Mm. You know, if that's your friend, that's your friend. I'm not gonna argue with you. Speaking of, uh, friends, how's Brock? Oh! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I know the man just recently had an eye surgery, and as his friend, I thought you'd know how he'd be doing. <clears throat> it's clear the guy likes you. Oh, whatever. Oh, so who's in denial now? Ah, uh, I'll admit. Okay. There was a time where I thought something could happen between us, but nothing ever does. Maybe he's scared. Of me? But when it's real, you get scared. Bross had a whole lot of hurt in his life. Are you gonna listen to your sister or what? Hey, don't you worry about me because I love my wife. And I'm not gonna do anything to mess up what we have. I didn't ask Ryan to get involved. I tried really hard to keep him out of it. We'll try harder. Madison, I, I need to do this, okay? I need to help Greenlee. Look, I know. Okay, and I know that you're always gonna throw yourself into this kind of thing, but you just got out of the hospital. I'm worried about you. I'm gonna be fine. I appreciate how worried you are about Ryan. Don't forget to take one right away and never on an empty stomach. Hold on a second, you're leaving right now? Well, you look busy, so I'm gonna be at the office if you need me. Madison, can you... Sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. No, I know you didn't. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We just gotta get through this. Get through this, get you away from Hayward, and, and Madison and I will be fine. Did it work, the phone call? Yep. I got in touch with the mechanic, and uh, we agreed to meet. So he thought that you were David? Yes, he thought I was David. I'm gonna meet him at the Washington Hotel in Delaware in a couple days. No, you're not. What? I can't let you do it. To be honest, I expected much better from you, Angela. You know what? I'm about two seconds away from drop kicking your ass down that elevator Listen, shaft. Please. Let me tell you something. When I first came on, I resisted the temptation to make you step down. Mostly because I promised Greenlee I wouldn't. And I also didn't want to shake up the staff right away. Mighty big of you. But after what you've done, Okay, going behind my back with the board? That is grounds for dismissal. One screw up, one mistake on your part, and I'm gonna oust your ass for good. Get out of here. Get out. 